In this session, we're going to look at how you can use macro photography to give yourselves creative challenges. So this one's called Macro Kitchen. So I've taken images of things in my kitchen using macro photography. What we're gonna do is we're gonna edit a couple of these images up so they look a little bit better than their raw images. So I'm just gonna pop over to Snapseed and we'll do a little bit of editing. But whilst I do this and find the images, just want to talk a little bit about setting yourself photography challenges. So it's really useful, I find, when you're developing your photography style and your different photography techniques to set yourself goals and to set yourself challenges. So this one's a really cool, really easy goal to set yourself, to make yourself think slightly differently about what's in your environment, so what's in your kitchen. And then also what it does is it gives you the opportunity to use editing software on your phone to then kind of change the way they look. So not only are you thinking more differently about your photography, you're also using different editing techniques, which will only improve your style and your um, the way you're working as you're developing your photography. So I'm just working in Snapseed, and this is an image of a bottle in my um, kitchen. So it's on my shelf in my kitchen. And I really like this image, so I thought it'd be really interesting to look at it in a different perspective. Now, this image is quite bright, so I'm just modifying this in a different way. At the end of this quick tutorial, what I'll do is I'll show you the images that I've created from my kitchen, and hopefully that'll inspire you to go out and do the same. As always, please do share your images with the group and with the course because it's really useful for us to see what you are working. And also, it's really inspirational. Okay, so I'm using Snapseed, as I said earlier, and this is some flowers on my kitchen window. And I'm just looking at different ways I can edit these. So I like my images in 16 by 9, so I'm cropping everything to 16 by 9. But when I take my images, I shoot them in square mode. Um, so as a square, as an image, that way I can then look at different ways to kind of scale it and frame it and crop it. So I'm just trying the noir feature here. And again, I'm just looking at different looks. So I've got no set look that I want uh, presently. I'm just experimenting and playing. Okay, so you guys know how to use Snapseed anyway. And the important thing about this tutorial is to hopefully inspire you to go out and see things differently. So you can do your macro kitchen idea in your living room in your garden, you know, in your office if you're back at work, for example. It's really about looking at the world from a different perspective. Let's speed this little bit up and let's jump into the images at the end. Okay, just finishing off the editing of some of the images and here are my macro kitchen images. I really hope you found this session useful and I'm super excited for you to get started. So please, 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 do send me your images. I'd love to see them. Okay then everybody, have a wonderful week and I hopefully I'll see you in the next session.